Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Clarence Bud Scott Sr. led one of the most popular dance bands in the Mississippi, Louisiana region for several decades beginning around 1900. A lifelong resident of Natchez, Scott was renowned among both white and black audiences. Although the dances at that time were segregated, the entire community could hear Bud Scott when he sang from the balcony of the Natchez Confectionery. Scott was recognized as the most famous African American musician in Mississippi during the early decades of the 20th century. Across the state, and in Louisiana, newspapers that rarely covered African Americans advertised and reported his appearances in glowing terms. Some ads promoted his band as the best orchestra in the South. The 1938 Federal Writers Project called him Mississippi's own pioneer in jazz and named him among the six most nationally prominent Mississippi-born musicians. His music made headlines in 1919 when his sizzling rendition of Eliza Jane turned a sedate meridian affair into a near riot as dancers broke rank with the old waltzes and square dances to do the shimmy, the hesitation, and the tickle toe. Scott performed for three presidents and entertained at pageants, military balls, political rallies, Conventions, graduations, rodeos, and fairs. Scott died in Natchez on November 24, 1938. I'm Tony Fields, Alderman of Ward 4 for the city of Natchez, and I played Bud Scott during Angels on the Bluff. This has been your Natchez History Minute.